Hey everyone, welcome back to Sully Tutorials. In this video, we're going to upscale low quality videos into sharp high resolution footage using ARD Video Enhancer, a powerful AI tool that makes your old or blurry videos look brand new. Let's jump right in. First, go to the official ARD Video Enhancer website. The link is in the description. This software uses advanced AI to add more detail, reduce noise, fix blur, and upscale poor quality videos to stunning 4K clarity. On the website, click the free trial button to download the software. Once it's downloaded, open the folder, right-click the setup file, and select Open. Then click Run, agree to the license terms, and hit Install. After the installation is complete, click Open to launch the software you'll now see IRD's clean and modern interface. We're going to upscale a low-resolution video using this tool. Start by importing your video. Click the plus button, or simply drag and drop a video from your computer into the window. Once the video is loaded, you'll see two screens showing the before and after comparison. You can adjust the zoom level to get a closer look, or fit the video to the screen. Below these screens you'll find play and pause controls to preview both versions. As soon as you do this, the AI model will begin downloading to process your video. There's also a handy comparison slider on the preview screen. Drag it side to side to instantly see the difference between the original and enhanced video. Below the preview, you'll find a trim tool. Use it to select the exact portion of the video you want to enhance by moving the start and end points. Now let's begin the upscaling process in three powerful steps. In each step, we'll export the same video using different settings to get the best results. Step 1. On the top right corner, under the More Details AI panel, select the best available hardware option for your system. Next, open the AI Models menu, and choose the More Detail HQ V2 model. You can read the brief description on screen to understand why this model is ideal. After selecting the model, open the upscale settings and choose the upscale level. For this example, we're going with two times to double the resolution. Below that, you'll see the turbo option. Turning this on will speed up processing with a slight reduction in quality. And under that, there's an edit tool. You can use it to rotate or flip the video if needed. You can also crop your video using the edit tool if needed. In addition to that, you can adjust video and audio stream settings for multiple tracks in the same tool. But since I don't need to edit this clip, I'll turn off the checkmark again. Next I scroll down and activate the Frame Interpolation tool. This feature helps generate additional frames between existing ones, making your video playback smoother and more fluid. Inside this tool, I set the frame rate. This time, I choose around 60 frames per second. If you want to create slow motion, you can enable that option too, but I'll leave it off for now. Now I activate the audio denoise tool. This helps clean up and improve the sound quality in your video. For this I select the voice filter version 3.0 model. You can also adjust the attenuation limit in decibels and the post filter threshold. After applying these settings, if you see a message saying AI inference is required on the preview screen, click the preview button to download the needed model. Then scroll down and open the export settings. I set the video format to MP4, the video codec to H.264, and the audio codec to AAC. After that, choose your export path where you want to save the video. At the bottom, you'll see two export options. One is export current, and the other is batch export. Since I'm working on a single video, I click export current. The video will now start exporting. Export time may vary depending on your video's duration. Once it's done, click Open. Your upscaled video will be ready in the Output folder. Now let's move on to Step 2. I remove the previously imported video from ARD Video Enhancer. Then I drag and drop the video we just exported back into the software. The video is now imported. I begin by selecting the best available hardware again. Then in the AI Models menu, I choose the Smooth HQ V2 model. You'll see its details on the screen. 
After selecting the model, I open the upscale settings and choose 4 times. Then I activate the frame interpolation tool, and set the frame rate to around 90 frames per second. If you need to clean the audio again, you can enable the audio denoise tool and adjust its settings, but I'll skip it this time. Next, unfold the export settings and apply the same settings as before. Then click export current, and export the video. Let's move to step 3, and now drag and drop the latest exported video into ARD Video Enhancer. Once imported, I go to the AI model box and choose the Super Video VHQ model. The details for this model will appear on screen. Next, I open the upscale settings and choose two times. Then I turn on the frame interpolation tool, and set the frame rate to around 120 frames per second. Then I open the export settings, and apply the same export settings as before. If the message about AI inference appears, click preview and download the required model. Finally I click export current and export the video. That's how you can upscale your videos using ARD's powerful AI tools in three simple steps. If you're planning to use it regularly, ARD offers two pricing options. The standard license is $79 per year for one PC. And the lifetime license is a one-time payment of $165 for up to three PCs. With free updates for life. And yes, there's a special discount link in the description if you want to grab it at the best price. Stay tuned for more tutorials, only on Sali Tutorials.